Good morning, hacksters. Today we have a new launch from Nordic, which is their Power Profiler Kit 2. It's the second generation of this, and it works about 10 times faster, up to 100 kilosamples per second. So we're going to get this open. Um, a cool thing about this kit is that it works with all existing uh, Nordic development kits, including some of the ones that we've covered recently, including the NRF9160 DK and the Thingy91, which is a similar version. So this is designed for people building a embedded hardware, an IoT, and we have actually already a blog post about it that we can check out in just a second. Uh, in fact, let's take a look. So this is uh, our article by James Lewis. You can find it at hackster.io slash news as, long, as well as a lot of other really interesting, distracting stuff that I can't dive into or I lose hours. Um, and he goes into some of the main features of this board and there's some beautiful pictures of it as well. Um, but one of the cool things about this is that it, uh, it can measure the power uh, in a couple of different ways that your device is consuming, but also it includes a basic logic analyzer, which is pretty uh, useful. So it's sort of all in one kit, but let's get it out of the box and take a look. Do, do, do. There we go. So this thing is kind of beautiful, I think. It's similar actually to the design for their NRF9160 DK. The whole aesthetic is very pleasing. Um, Let's actually open it up. What's it say? As usual, you have a getting started guide at nordicsemi.com slash start ppk2. I really like their getting started materials. And we'll take a look at the product page in a second. They really integrate it all nicely so that it's sort of a one-stop shop for information about each of their development kits and tools like this. Recyclable. <laughs> The board uh, works with a micro USB cable. You may need to supply power to it or separately to your device under test, but uh, it also comes with these cables, which make it really easy to get started with the logic analysis. And it's sort of self-documenting. So you've got these, uh, let's zoom in a little bit by which I mean I'm gonna hold it closer to the camera and adjust the focus so that we can actually see. Okay, so you have USB data power. You've got uh, an on-off switch. Eh. And you've got USB power only. So data and power, power only. <sighs> Imagine if every, <laughs> if every developer item uh, actually labeled those so you didn't have to guess each time or look up the information. They tell you which one is for data. That's beautiful. Here's the logic ports. You've got eight digital pins that you can hook up to uh, step through your code basically and figure out, uh, synchronize your measurements with what's going on in your code. Uh, this works with the NRF Connect for desktop app that we've also talked about before. And the power profiler option in there is designed to work with things like this. So then we have your ground VN, V out, and uh, another ground. <laughs> uh, max one amp. It, I think the inputs are, it can uh, measure a range of, it, it varies. On the product page, it says uh, individual nano amps to a, a whole amp, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then your resolution is around 100 nano amps to one milliamp, depending on the range of uh, power that you're sampling. So then we have uh, an ampere only mode and we have a source measure unit version, which will actually provide current and then also uh, measure 0.8 volts to five volts in. And uh, you have your link again to the getting started page, nordicsemi.com slash start ppk2. Also, it's got this nice little enclosure that's held on by uh, little screws. It's a very handsome kit. Like no one's ever going to see this who's your, like your customer, but it's uh, it seems like it would be a pleasure to work with. Fascinating. Okay, uh, this actually reminds me a little bit of some buildings in Hong Kong that have like holes in them for dragons to pass through. So maybe this uh, <laughs> this tool has a hole for the dragons to pass through. Okay, enough nerdery. Let's get to the documentation. So we have our uh, 
our blog post here at hacks.io slash news. You can read about the power, comes from a standard five volt USB port that we looked at, eliminates the need for a bench power supply since it can provide an output adjustable voltage from 0.8 to five volts and a dynamic output current from one microamp to one amp. So that's exciting. Uh, you don't have to bust out your own bench power supply or go get one, and you don't have to go get a logic analyzer. If you have some basic needs, you can uh, sort of eliminate for both of those just with bu what's built in on the kit, which is very exciting. And um, so uh, as mentioned, you can scroll down and get a hand on, get your hands on <laughs> the NRF, <clears throat> pardon, the NRF Connect for Desktop app, which we've taken a look at previously in our materials for the NRF 9160DK, which is linked below, and the Nordic Thingy 91 Getting Started guides as well. Tons of material for you to have a look at, uh, and it's the same platform. So both this Power Profiler kit and the NRF Connect for Desktop app are gonna be sort of one-stop shops for when you're working with Nordic development kits, which is very exciting. So here we go, hard numbers, 200 nanoamps to one amp measurement range. So don't put more than an amp into this, but uh, it's really designed for, you know, optimizing embedded solutions, IOT solutions, uh, low power solutions. So that's sort of what it's for. Resolution varies between 100 nanoamps and one milliamp, depending on the measurement range. Uh, and again, support for all Nordic DKs in addition to custom hardware. You, you don't have to be working with a Nordic kit in order to use this, but it does, it is out of the box compatible with all of those. Um, <laughs> you can read more about these things. I think the most exciting parts here are the logic analyzer. Uh, you can use digital inputs as a low end logic analyzer enabling code synchronized measurements. So as you step through your code on the device, you can talk to this uh, power profiler kit and uh, simultaneously see where the power is consumed, which parts of the code are triggering that and where you might uh, want to optimize or run into trouble. They tell you a little bit about how to use it in here. Again, compared to the previous uh, Power Profiler kit, this is V2. This one is about 10 times faster and you get about 100 kilo samples per second. Okay, uh, and then finally, if you click down here, you have a getting started video all ready for you. So again, if you, if you have more questions and you're not sure if this is gonna be useful for you, I recommend going through the get it start, <laughs> the getting started video just to see what the process is like and how friendly it is to use and uh, what options are available for you. It might help you make your decision. It does go for about $89. Which, com considering that you know you don't need a bench power supply, you don't need a logic analyzer, I think is pretty exciting. Depending on what you're trying to do, <laughs> you might still need a logic analyzer, but there's lots of options for that. Okay, use with any Nordic DK, and check out more from the Nordic team. As always, be sure to follow Hackster.io/news for more exciting things like this. And uh, I assume you know where to find our videos since you're watching one right now. <laughs> but you can find us at hackster.io slash videos for more. That is the Power Profiler Kit 2 from Nordic Semiconductor, just released yesterday. Thank you guys for sending us one of these. Uh, it's very cool. I just think it's, you know, I may or may not, I'm not actually designing embedded products myself. I think if I were, I'd be very excited about this. But even just as an aesthetic uh, individual, I think that it's quite pleasing to the eye. So. Uh, maybe we'll forward this on to someone who is doing professional IoT development with embedded hardware. Have an awesome rest of your morning. We'll see you soon and hack on.